Hello and welcome. This demo is not intended to be sophisticated or show evasion techniques or bypass security. It's a straightforward introductory attack. However, the attack demonstration left behind sufficient artifacts so that you will see how Fortinet's SecOps platform detects this and other malware attacks. All right, we're using the Forta Demo Threat Lab for this use case. Let's continue with Forta EDR and Forta SIM detection. The Fortinet SecOps journey starts with detection. Using Forta EDR, security operations can quickly pinpoint attacks through alerts from Forta EDR and Forta SIM. The Forta EDR dashboard provides an at a glance overview of system security events, most targeted systems, system communication control, and external system communication destinations. It also provides a summary of connected collectors and Forta EDR management health. Let's check out what the attacker tried to do and begin. The Security Events widget shows the unhandled attacks and attack classification that have unfolded upon the enterprise. The Forta EDR Events page shows all attacking processes and the device they were run on. Additionally, a timeline of events is shown at the bottom of the page. Details about the attack are shown on the right side of the page. Forta EDR provides information about the history of the attack along with rules that triggered the event. The Forta EDR records the threat attack information in the Forensics Threat Hunting page. Shown are the files affected by the CacheCat process. The threat hunting details show where the process file is located and what files it affected. In this scenario, the file formula for unlimited energy only copy was changed. The Forta EDR is configured to detect the attack through the Forta EDR security policies. The Forta EDR ransomware policy detected the CacheCat program under the dynamic code, file encryptor, and unmapped executable triggers. The Forta EDR sends the detection logs to the Forta SIM via syslog, as well as running any playbooks configured for further action. Additional actions include emailing an alert, isolating the client, terminating the process, deleting the file, cleaning persistent data, and integrations with firewalls to block any IP addresses associated with the attack, Active Directory to lock the user, and open a ticket with a software ticketing system. In the Forta EDR Playbooks section, security operators can decide how they will be notified of an attack. In this demo, Syslog is used to forward the incident over to the FortiSim for centralized notifications. The demo syslog and additional syslog locations can be set through the Administration Windows Export Setting Pages Define New Syslog button. We will now show the final piece of the SecOps journey by showing the ransomware attack in the FortiSim. First, let's look at some of the incoming logs. We'll start by seeing everything over the past 15 minutes and then filter by our HR manager desktop, whose IP is 10.0.0.6. Click on Analytics from the menu at the top of the browser window. Let's start by looking at all the incoming raw logs from the past few hours. To do this, click on the search bar, change to the desired time range, and hit the Apply and Run button. At the top, we see a graph of the log rate over time during the selected time period. Below, we are seeing summarized events from the raw log. Let's click the Wrap Text checkbox so we can see more detail. And now we see more detail for each log entry coming in. Let's add a filter that contains just Mary's IP address. We'll do that by finding her reporting IP, clicking the down arrow, hover over Add to Filter, and select the equal symbol. Then hit Run at the search bar. And now we are seeing just Mary's traffic from the HR Manager PC. Let's see if we can find the event from payload.exe. We will do that by going up to the search bar and add a row. In the attribute Select Raw Event Log, change the operator to Contain and the value to Payload. Don't forget to click Apply and Run. 
And here we see the logs that came in where the infiltration payload executable was started on Mary's machine. Before we move on, let's clear Mary's IP so we can see the EDR events as well. Here, you'll see that the EDR identified payload and CacheCat as malicious. And had this not been just a simulation, EDR would have blocked the file from running. Now, let's move into incidents and see where we will see payload and CacheCat events. The incidents page shows you an overview of the incidents that Fortisim has generated based upon the events from the incoming log sources. Let's click List by Time. This will give us a timeline of incidents, which is invaluable to SOC analysts. As you can see here, there are multiple incidents hitting the HR Manager device as indicated by the UEBA AI incident and the blocked file execution incident. Okay, let's extend the timeline to 30 days. And what do we see here? Mary was previously sent a file that looked suspicious and was executed anyway. Setup.exe. This IOC that may have been a previous attempt to compromise. That said, we see all the incidents that are related to the just run ransomware attack as well. Let's go ahead and drill into one of the incidents. Here we see some of the basic details from the incident, including the time, title, the rule that was matched, the reporting IP, and the target. Let's have a look at the triggering events by clicking the Triggering Events button in the window. At the top of the window, you will see the events triggered in Fortisim, which caused this incident to be created. We receive details such as event receive time, reporting IP, host, file name, and even the hash from the file. Let's have a look at the bottom of the window now. Here, we see the raw log on the left side of the window, which has all the information Fortisim parsed. Another very useful feature in this window is the Quick Copy button. This allows you to capture the entire raw log entry to the clipboard to easily move between programs. And finally on this screen, the Fortinet Advisor button. Fortinet Advisor is a unique AI assistant that harnesses Gen AI to turbocharge SecOps and the effectiveness of security analysts of all levels. By augmenting and refining Gen AI results with the latest Fortinet threat intel, product knowledge, and use cases, Advisor provides the user with a context aware, in product experience that delivers accurate and actionable results at the moment of need. As you can see here, the steps are giving you useful information to look at the cache cat attack and begin mitigation. On the right side of the window, we see the fully parsed information under Event Attributes, making the log easy to read. You can see this entry in the domain that the file was blocked by Ford EDR, the file name, host, and a lot more, all of which correlates to what is in the raw log. Now we will click on the Rule Summary button. The Rule Summary screen shows you the rule within Fortisim that triggered the alert. Let's look at the pattern, which shows exactly why the rule was triggered. Let's now go to Investigate an Event. We'll do this by clicking on an incident, then click on the Actions button and select Investigate. Let's drill further into the origins of the attack. This will allow us to start to understand the relationship and artifacts of this incident. After you click on the related incidents and entities, you can see the processes that were started, blocked, users and individuals involved, and how they relate to each other so you can follow the flow of the attack. For example, here we are seeing all the artifacts related to the ransomware attack on HR Manager. We can see that EDR saw the initial infiltration, payload EXE. We see that it was user Mary.Brown who was logged in. We're seeing the CacheCat ransomware simulation started and encrypting files. Let's look at some of these artifacts individually. First, let's click on the Mary.Brown icon. As you can see here, we get details about Mary that are in LDAP. Her full name, username, title, domain, last login, DN, information around last password changes, and even contact information. Now let's click on cachecat.exe and see what it shows. And now we get details around what CacheCat did when it was run. We see information around the incident, including the basics like the title and first and last occurrence, 
and reporting device. But we also see here that the target is Mary's machine and that she was logged in. We also see exactly what the cache cat ransomware did, and in this case, the rename of a file to an encrypted version. And finally, let's have a look at the timeline by clicking the timeline button. The timeline will confirm the sequence of events we have been investigating. Each event can be hovered over, and it will highlight the incident in the graphic. You can click on the replay button to get an animated visual of the timeline view. And since we already looked at the information in the originating incident, events are now adding in the graphical attack flow and timeline. We can understand the attack at a deeper level to move on to the mitigation or prevention phase. I hope this short introduction was able to show you the depth and value of the Fortinet SecOps solution. Thank you for your time.